Hi again and welcome to this uh, ongoing repair of the Jason kit wobulator. Uh, that's this, this device here and um, you'll remember that that's the device that's going to be used to measure the uh, characteristic wave shape of the IF transformers in the Eddystone receiver that I'm uh, repairing and playing with. And um, when I uh, switched the uh, the wobulator on, I checked everything was uh, okay or as near as okay as I could. And when I switched it on, uh, I found that uh, two capacitors had failed, and uh, the clue there was the uh, the smoke <laughs> that was coming off them. I'll just show you those. These are two uh, point oh oh five capacitors uh, that had been fitted uh, not shown on the circuit diagram um, but they've been fitted across the output of the mains transformer and uh, that mains transformer has um, 200 0 200 volts uh, so 400 volts uh, across it and um, I say these uh, these little jokers uh, failed fairly quickly and uh, they were fitted uh, across there, so across uh, pins uh, 1 and 7 of V3, the rectifier. So they're not shown on this uh, drawing at all, so there's no part of that drawing. Uh, these uh, other components are uh, associated with uh, uh, some of the timing signals. Um, so anyway, I've not replaced those because they're not original and uh, I can always put um, a, a nice uh, ceramic there if uh, I think it's necessary. Okay, having um, removed those failed capacitors, um, I've uh, hung the oscilloscope onto uh, a couple of connections on the back of the wobulator. And um, uh, the one trace is here, um, just got the scope probe on the back there. Um, that says 50 Hertz scan so that's the signal to uh, trigger the oscilloscope and then uh, the other is the RF output and again I've got the other scope probe on there. Um, this is a marker input uh, which I'm not doing anything with at the moment. So I've got attenuator, range, uh, tuning and uh, sweep, sweep width and the, uh, the on off switch and uh, this is the scan width. Uh, at the moment I've got the unit working on range 2 and uh, looking at the scope again you could be forgiven for sort of thinking well that looks as though it's doing something right if I adjust the scan width that's uh, this little one down here uh, you can see that um, doesn't seem to be doing a lot to the scan but uh, it's adjusting that output so you can imagine that uh, going out and doing something um, and um, the tuning if I adjust the tuning here you'll see it takes uh, that dial and um, uh, I'll move that from let's say we will start at uh, around the five uh, so five 0 to 5 meg there and then that'll go 0 to 40 meg there and uh, as I come up in frequency so you can see uh, hopefully the frequency is uh, this is only a 20 meg scope um, let's get it triggering off to that's it um, so as the frequency goes up and down, so that uh, that looks good. Not a beautiful sine wave, but it's uh, it's it's doing certainly doing something. And um, what's going on there? A bit of squigging. Okay, let's see. That again may be quite reasonable. And if I switch on to range 3 and uh, give it a bit of gain there, now the um, it's not looking so beautiful. Um, 
that's as much gain as I can get and as I change the frequency here so I'm uh, I'm going uh, going down the band now this is um, 40 meg there um, so 40 meg let's get a bit of synchronization on there we'll, we'll go off the line uh, there. We'll go off. So that's just triggering off the line there and if you're seeing funny stripes across here that's aliasing which we've talked about before um, Um, so I've got this um, other setting here, the, the sweep width, and um, that doesn't seem to be doing much. All right. Um, uh, so if I adjust the sweep width that's what I'm getting there so doesn't seem to be doing an awful lot to adjust the width of the sweep it's uh, it's doing something but that's probably not what I expect it to do and if I adjust the, the scan width down there uh, that again doesn't do anything to that trace um, it will presumably do something to that trace just put the other trace in so I would have expected to have seen uh, something happening uh, there um, anyway I'm um, going to move on to looking at the circuit there oh what I didn't say was when I come on to um, range 1 which is the range I actually wanted to work on which is uh, the top range there um, 0 to 2 meg and I want uh, 450 or 460 kilohertz, uh, which is going to be around here somewhere. Oops, sorry, uh, around there somewhere. Um, um, what I've got now, if you ignore any uh, strange lines that are on there, uh, I've got no control, or very little control. I'm just going to bring that down. Um, it's doing something but it's not doing what I anticipate it would do there um, so it doesn't make any difference what I do with that signal and I say I'm adjusting there the what's called the sweep width there and um, it's, it's not doing quite what I would anticipate um, if, say, if we are getting something funny there, it's to do with, uh, let's change the time base, it, it's a, an aliasing issue. Um, and just to, to show you again, if I go back to uh, the second range, I'll change the time base here. That looks as, uh, let me give it a bit more gain, that looks as though it might be doing something like what one might anticipate. So um, I want to get to understand the circuit diagram a little bit now and see uh, what's happening. So this is the circuit diagram and I must admit it's uh, not immediately obvious uh, what's going on. Uh, clearly we've got the rectifier there and then um, uh, not sure what's happening here and um, uh, again this is uh, some f sort of oscillator here and an oscillator over here I'm not sure what's going on here um, the RF output is there in the middle of the page and uh, the uh, sine wave scan to the plates that's the 50 Hertz out is there um, so uh, I just got to get my head around this okay I'm going to call it a day on this video um, just want to retrace this drawing and um, see if I can uh, make a bit more sense out of the circuit diagram before I start attacking it with the oscilloscope 
uh, I hope you find it uh, something like interesting. Um, any comments uh, uh, are always uh, nice to hear back from folk. Um, but uh, say, so I hope you find it interesting. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.